Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Mist Survival. Now, y'all are probably wondering, why am I standing here? Why do I have inventory that's full? And where is my car? Well, good news and bad news. Car's up there. Bad news is, is we don't have a motor for it. Yes, the engine is busted. And I don't have one. And all the cars around here don't have one either. Now, we have three options. Option number one is we can go to that gas station and hopefully find an engine. Option number two travel down the road and keep searching these cars and hope that the bandits don't show up and option number three is to hike in the forest along the backside until we get back to our house gather an engine grab the engine and then run back here all while having this much health and being wounded so yeah that's the thing I think we're gonna go back to the house but I wanted to bring everybody along just in case something bad happened oh yeah and there was a bear here on the road somewhere oh that would be him that would be him get away from me Leave me alone, boo-boo. Where is he? Yeah, so that's the problem of going back that way, is that there is a bear. So... Can we... Yep, hop the fence, please. Now, I don't know if this fence will stop a bear, but we're over... Oh, it would, maybe, if it continued... Uh, so frustrated, so frustrated. We're going to get eight or shot or something. And I have a full inventory and I cannot allow that to happen. So, anyway, we got past the bear. Really? I can't search this car? Can y'all feel the level of frustration here? I think I'm going to go up here. We got our ability to run back, so that's good. Where are we at on... Eh, we're not the greatest on our stuff. I mean, I'd like to eat and drink, but... Unfortunately, our stuff is still kind of full. good news is that our wound is almost healed so that it'll only be a slight wound oh I can't believe that engine ran out like that that just uh, it makes sense though I am perfectly happy with the fact that it happened I just wish it wasn't where it was and I was fully loaded down and wounded that's the bad part You didn't see nothing. I don't know if we've been to this cabin. I don't know if the cabin will do anything for us, but... I'm not hearing any growling, so that's good. Oh, no, we've been here. Hmm, okay. So... That's the road down there. See, we need to go this way. Oh, uh, we're out of stamina again. So, I'm going to wait. 
do we treat? Nah, I don't think we need to treat the slight wound. Nah, we'll be alright. So anyway, guys, there was a small update today. Um, I don't think it's going to affect us very much. Couple bug fixes. Added the ability to break down stuff like the chicken coop. Which is a good thing. We needed that. Just in case. Well, I'd rather have a move option. But, you know, if you misplace something and you need to destroy it, then you need to destroy it. Oh, careful there. We're going to hurt ourselves. Now, the question is... Is where are we? There's a cabin there. There's a road there. Where is our house? Hmm. There's another cabin there. Is that our house? Yes, it is. Ha ha, we're home. We made it home. We made it home. Alright, so I just gotta remember, we just need to run that way. Alright guys, give me a minute to unload everything, and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay guys, we are back. We have a motor, I know it's only a 12.5, but all I needed to do is get us back here to the base, and then we can swap out for a better motor. So I figured, you know, why not? Why not use, oh, the stupid forge. Why not use it as a rescue motor? So anyway, um, I did a little bit of work at the base last night. Once I got there, I realized that our organization is horrible. Like, we were lacking storage containers. So when I got back, there was only like, oh, I don't know. I think it was like 1,600 when I got back. So there wasn't a whole lot of time to do anything and I didn't want to waste the time sleeping so I made a couple storage uh, storage lockers the red ones and we used it to we made a new weapons well we made two new weapons lockers one for guns one for knives and the machetes and the axes and then I had to make another locker that we put the armor in and then I kind of did a little bit of reorganizing and stuff like that. And then the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen is a wreck. The kitchen is straight up a wreck. It had like... Mm, like every drawer, every cabinet, every everything. I had stuff stacked on the counters at one point. It was so bad. So, we did a little bit of organizing in there. Not a whole lot. Uh, I really wish we had bigger storage containers. I mean, those red ones are nice, but they don't offer... They don't offer enough space. I mean, with the amount of loot we got in different places, yeah. But I'm just about to the point where I'm going to have to start using storage containers in the kitchen if we're not careful. Uh, literally, we found that much food. We had that much food on us when we got back that, yeah, I, it was it was ridiculous. It was awesome, but it was ridiculous at the same time. I swear sometimes when I'm walking, I hear an extra set of footprints behind me in this game. I don't know why, but I do. Alright, so here we are, once again, where is that stupid bear? Oh, here he comes. Run! Oh, he hit us! Run! Stupid bear. Where's that bear at? 
I don't know. Don't care. We got away from him. He hit us, but our health isn't too bad, so we'll be alright. Oh, I bet you that messed up my body armor. I can guarantee it did. Ah, stupid bears. What are they good for? They don't eat the zombies. They don't eat the bandits. Hey, look. This vehicle looks familiar. Maybe because it's mine. Yeah, all of our stuff is about out. So, eh, we're going to have to... We're going to have to do a little revamp once we get back. But yeah, this is literally where we broke down. We ended the video. I came around these cars and boom, we stopped. So, yeah, I didn't think that the engine car durability was going to go down that quickly. I mean, you know, that's some, that's some messed up stuff right there. So, you know, I thought for a while that, you know, our engine situation was, like, super plenty, more than enough, we'll never run out. I was wrong, because, yeah, the engines wear out. They do wear out, so that's one of those you got to kind of keep an eye on it things. Yay, we're getting back. And this should be our turn right here. Haha, -ha, the house. We have returned. <sighs> Alright, so just out of curiosity. So, I want to say, now I could be wrong, because I, I don't quite fully remember, but I could have swore that our engine was at 12.9 uh, when we started our little trip. So, if that's the case, yeah, we don't have too much life on the engine and batteries and all that stuff. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this stuff inside. And once we get it all inside... I will bring y'all back, and we will go on another adventure. So give me a second, guys, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Well, I got everything put away. And we're going to go check out that gas station. And I went ahead and I put an extra engine, an extra battery. Well, yeah, one extra battery. And an extra spark plug, the only spark plug that we have. So, it's in the car, in the trunk, so if we run out, that will be okay, because we have a backup. Uh, because everything was so low, I went ahead and took replacement items, but I went ahead and took the worst of the replacement items, just because we are just doing loot runs right now, and the constant back and forth. I don't want to wear out a good you know, a good engine or a good battery or anything like that. I'd rather put some distance before we have to use one of our good items. So, here we are at the gas station. Turn this off. Now, before we go in... Okay, so no, it was the engine didn't mess up that quickly. It's still at 12.5. Spark plugs are at 10.5, though, so... You know, I'm wondering if just turning the car on and off affects those. There's fuel in here. We'll need to get the fuel can. Oh, and once again, our... Uh our inventory system... <laughs> Yeah, we can't pick that up, can we? Pick it up! Now, our inventory stuff at the house is horrible because, yeah, it's... Even with the extra containers, we're piling stuff up on the floor again. And that's okay, because we will make more, but I am not collecting this firewood. 
A booze and a cola, huh? Someone was trying to make a drink there. Couple batteries, that's good. I kind of figured we'd find stuff like batteries at a gas station and maybe an engine. And so I was hesitant to bring the stuff that I brought. Ooh, no more E. But, you know, I figured better safe than sorry because I really don't want to make that, uh, that walk again. Because, yeah, that was just, just a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Another, wow. Yeah, we have batteries for days and, of course, the mist is coming in. That's okay. All well, this battery is worse than the one we had, but All right. So Let me see if we can look around back real quick. go in there but I don't think I don't think it's a wise idea with the mist coming in Sit here, I'll look, a zombie. Well, I'm not leaving the car right now, because that's our safe place. So, once again, we're going to pause it, I'm going to wait out the mist, and I'll bring y'all back in a second. Okay, the mist is done. Out of the car. Break it down. I will take all this stuff. Yay, spark plug. Ha, ah, 100%. Nice, nice, nice. That will ensure our driving needs for some time. Okay, so if our inventory is full and I do this, No. Okay. So you can't go beyond what's there. I was kind of hoping it was going to add some extra slots to it, but you know, it is what it is. Nope. All right. So let's go on down the next thing. Actually, let me put this stuff up. Starting to fill up with food and stuff again. Thinking that at the rate we're going, because that's already full now, uh, we might not have to do a whole lot of raiding, at least for food. I mean, granted, I'm going to get every bit of food I see. I'm not going to leave it on the ground. That's a no-no. That's an apocalypse no-no. Do not ever... Oh, I see movement. Oh, I see multiple movements. I'll just back on off. Okay. Well, let's approach by foot then, shall we? Obviously, the bandits have done move down. And they got thing there. 
Okay, so there were bandits at the oil rig. Telling you guys, I don't know. I don't understand what goes on with these bandits. One minute they're here, one minute they're not. See, there's a fire barrel that should indicate bandit, I thought. I know we did not just pick up a box. Or not a box, but a board. Nope, can't have that. Can't have that. Mine. Nice. Oh, I just noticed that you have a loot all button. Haha, -ha, mine. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to have plenty of scrap engine. Double engine. Ah, they're both junk, but, you know, we'll take them still. We will still take them, and you can't fit through there. Alright, if you're running from bandits, do not try to go through there, because it's not happening. Can we not? Seriously, we can't jump over that. Ah, frustration... to get used to being able to hit F. I'm so... Ooh, shotgun. I'm so used to not being able to hit F that I'm forgetting that I can now hit F. Oh look, another upgrade for our backpack. But we don't get no more slots. Wish we did. It'd be very nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. I have to dug down through that, huh? Hmm. Come on, just climb it. The jump slash climb mechanic is a little funny. And it's a no-go with a solid steel blast door because, you know, every road has a blast door on it now. Personally, I think I would have went with a uh, bunch of crashed vehicles or, you know, a semi or a bus blocking it or even... At very least, a rock fall instead of putting a blast door on it. I mean, no. Really? Come on. that so we've already hit two edges of the map not overly pleased with that I'm gonna be honest right now not pleased with it Alright, let's see. Are the baddies going to pop up again? See, I don't know. One minute the car attracts them, the next minute it don't. Yay, we're on a road. Where, where's the road go? 
I don't know, but let's follow it. There's a water tower. Mm. Yeah, we'll stop at the water tower. Let me check my parts. See, we're not doing that bad. I don't know why... Why our engine died so quick earlier. Up we go. MRE. Alright. I love this dude's ability to climb down ladders while holding a gun with both hands and uh, being able to turn around and walk down it backwards and not fall. Okay, we can't climb up there. Bandit camp? Yep, bandit camp. Don't shoot my car. Oh, it just died. Uh-oh. Spark plugs. How do you shoot my spark plugs out? Like, honestly, how do you do that? Haha, uh -huh, guys. I got him. Shot his spark plugs. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, this game. This game. And our engine's down to five. See? That's a good thing we brought an extra engine. Alright, so... Uh, all right, guys, hang on one second, and let me figure out what we're about to do. Okay, guys, I think what we're going to do is I'm going to run down here because I want to see the end of this road. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. I think tomorrow we'll go and handle that bandit camp, or at least attempt to. I don't know if we can or not. And this road just goes straight into the mountain. Um, okay. Not sure I agree with that one either. Um, I think in that case, the blast door would have made more sense, but alright, whatever. Anyway, like I said, we'll try to take that bandit camp tomorrow. Maybe there's an NPC there, maybe there's not. I have no idea, but we'll take it on foot because apparently vehicles trigger these guys. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop and take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.